In this video, I'm going to have a look at how magnetic field strength varies as a function of current through a solenoid. Here's the setup, a solenoid, a magnetic field sensor, data logger and an ammeter. And here's another shot from a different angle and you can see as we adjust the knob on the power supply, we can increase the current. Okay, so at the moment it's about point, nearly 0 0.1 of an amp. Now as we increase current, you can see the field strength is getting larger. So we're up to about 0.2, it reads negative 0.184, something like that. Up to 0.3, now we're into positive territory, we're up to plus 0.5. Here we keep going, up to 0.4, it's about 1.2. So we can just keep taking pairs of data, eventually plot this. So we'll get up to 0.5 and it's about 1.7 or something like that. Now it's looking fairly linear at the moment, so when we plot it, hopefully we'll see a nice linear relationship. Okay, we're up to 0.6, something like 2.0. Louis Tesla, 0.7, at 2.4, something like that. Now in theory, the magnetic field strength should be proportional to the current. So in other words, when we plot magnetic field strength versus current, we should get a straight line, and the straight line is an indication of um, a couple of things, mainly the number of turns per metre on the solenoid Okay, we're up to about 0.9, something like 3.1 millitesla. And we can just keep on going. Okay, so here's the final one. That's about 1, 3.4 millitesla. Now I've plotted it and you can see it's fairly straight. 